So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Rabbi shahli sadri wa yassir li amri, wa ahlul uqmin lisani yafkahu qawli. Allahumma ja'alni lisana sidqan. So today I want to talk about the relationship between Kabbalah, magic and money. Uh, you will be surprised and I'll mention things quickly today because I'm kind of tired and so therefore I'm just going to talk quickly and usually I get all the evidences in, in some detail but today I'm just going to go through it quickly. So Bismillah. Uh, let's focus on this particular part of the phrase the Quran mentions. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions وَاتَّبَعُوا مَا تَطْلُوا الشَّيَاطِينُ عَلَى مُلْكِ سُلَيْمَانِ and they followed. So who followed? Who is they followed? Well, they followed is in general referring to the Jewish community. And what they had developed is an idea that some of them believed that Prophet Sulaiman in addition to being a prophet was also a magician and that he had books of magic under his throne. And so they have been, and if you read what is happening in Palestine, even today they're always digging, 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 digging. If anyone knows anything, you know that they have tunnels there by the tons. So the point I'm trying to make is that the magicians, uh, they are those who follow what shayateen have taught them about the kingdom of Suleiman. Okay, so if you look at any of these uh, groups like the Freemasons, the Illuminati, the Knight Templars, which we're specifically going to talk about today, they all follow and trace their origins back to Prophet Suleiman because he was a great magician as well as according to them a prophet. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clarifies here what taba'u and they followed what the shayateen taught them, recited to them about the kingdom of Suleiman. What about it? وَمَا كَفَرَ Suleiman. Suleiman didn't do kafar. He did not do magic. وَلَكِنَّ الشَّيَاطِينَ كَفَرُوا But it is the shayateen that are doing kufr. يُعَلِّمُونَ النَّاسَ السَّحْرِ They're the ones who are teaching people magic. Not Suleiman Now, in general, it's referring to the Jewish community and also in general is referring to the Jewish community in Medina. But it is also specifically talking about certain groups of people that are influenced by the kingdom of Suleiman, trace themselves back to the kingdom of Suleiman, and think that the magic that they're doing is coming from the legacy of Prophet Suleiman One of these groups, okay, one of these groups is the Knight Templars, okay, and they call themselves the Knight the Knights of the Temple of Suleiman of, of Solomon okay oh, but the point is that anyone who traces themselves back to Suleiman and learns magic is part of is what these groups these secret groups like the Knight Templars the Masons, the Illuminati this is what they all do okay but you'll also be now interested in learning that how holy money how the knight templars they became rich okay and so what you will also learn in this process when you look into this is that many of these knight templars were actually uh, jewish okay and uh, they had made money and they also established the world's first bank so here we find a relationship between magicians and magic and hold on one second okay uh the knight templars were the most enterprising of religious institutions profiting from a wide spectrum of services and involved in early forms of banking transporting goods as well as people at a time when traveling particularly from the west to the east was fraught with many dangers the order's growing reputation to as astute Financers was part and parcel of a lucrative business in facilitating and enabling trade for sovereign foreign merchants and pilgrims that lasted until the order was dissolved in 1312. Okay, so these magicians, the Knight Templars, who had 
found lost treasures in the Holy Land in Jerusalem. Now, which uh, the Knight Templar, military order, or the first financial services? Okay, and so uh, a new book details how the how military order operated in 13th century banking and crowd funding practices. Okay, so this was the first group of people that dealt with riba and made it popular. Okay, and so the Knight Templars who trace their legacy back to Prophet Suleiman are in the Holy Land. Who did they oppose? Who opposed them? So Salahuddin Ayyubi, one of the Mujaddids of Islam. Usury and the Knight Templars. Okay, so you can see this that even though they claim warrior monks who invented banking. Okay. So they were warrior monks who invented banking. So now you find the link between rich people and magic and banking and Rothschild and all these other groups of people uh, that has to do with what uh, magic and uh, the origin of Knight Templar, descends, descendants of Jewish elders. The Knights Templar initially arrived in the Holy Land on a mission to reclaim some treasure they believed was rightfully theirs. Okay. According to the modern Templar historians, such and such, the Knights were banded together as the Knights Templars were part of a wave of European royalty descended from Jewish elders that had fled the Holy Land around 7080. So you know the fall of the Temple happened in 7080. When after Isa Ali, after the Jewish people had rejected Isa Ali, Islam, when Allah destroyed the the Holy Land and they had gone on their diaspora, so when it was invaded by Rome, so the Romans came and invaded it, and that was the end of Jerusalem and Jews being in Jerusalem. Uh, the Knight Templar beginning and the Rux Dias families, before leaving their homeland, these elders had hidden their secret treasures and priceless stuff and Kabbalah, Kabbalah, Kabbalistic scrolls. Now these Kabbalistic scrolls are either associated or are part of those books that I was talking about that Suleiman had put under his throne to hide them from the people in the jinns, which the Duran said, ha, see, he was a prophet and he was a magician. So let's get those books. So those Jewish people that ran off, then they had some of these treasures that they had hidden. And so why do people go to Israel and do archaeology and archaeology and archaeology and archaeology? One of the major reasons is to what? Is to find these old relics of magic. For hundreds of years, the secret locations of the Jewish treasures filtered down through the families of the elders until the First Crusade, when the knight, knighted members of the Rux Duis joined the possession of the holy warriors traveling east with the dual goal of defeating the Muslims and recovering the family treasure, meaning the treasure of Prophet Suleiman. Okay? The original nine knight Templars were either born into or related with the Rux Dias families. Uh, as was uh, uh, Godfrey uh, de Bolian, the French general who led them against the Caesarians, meaning uh, Muslims, during the First Crusades. His cousin, King Baldwin of two of Jerusalem, assisted the Templars in retrieving the treasure mm -hmm. by donating Al-Aqsa -Al -Al Mosque for their use. So now they were looking for the books in these areas, including the Al-Aqsa mosque okay the treasures of the holy land uh of, from the holy land to scotland so now the uh the treasures of the those magical books they travel from the holy land jerusalem to scotland and we know the connection between and yajuj and majuj and kabbalah and all of this is all interconnected but my main purpose today was to show you what was to show you the link between magic and power and money and how the three are interrelated in the quran over and over again for example Fir'aun, right Fir'aun, he has magicians around him so power and magic are interrelated power and families are interrelated and so uh one day i'll talk more about uh, 
some of the aspects of Fir'aun in all of this. Uh, so now let me see here. Um, the Knight Templars, uh, m magic and famous mysteries. Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, the history of the Knight Templars, you can also see some of it over here. Okay. Uh, the last thing I want to show is over here. Um, I want to emphasize this. Uh, they found their nemesis, Salahuddin, who, who moved, who vowed to drive all Christians from the lands of Islam. Uh, they established the medieval world's first global bank and waged private wars against anyone who threatened their interests. Okay. And so, uh, so recently, secret tunnels of the Knights Templars discovered in Israel. So they recently discovered these temp these t these tunnels that they had built uh, for various reasons, including military reason. Um, and then also, I want to share with you that uh, the Knight Templars, they of course uh, now when you look at uh, what the Knight Templars were doing, and you look at what was happening before in the in the temple of Suleiman after Prophet Suleiman right when you compare like what we just read about prostitutes and bazaar then you'll find that the Knight Templars were reviving these same rituals and so uh, so I'll end here so the main points that I wanted to just go over is the Knight Templars have they're, they claim their origin back to Prophet Suleiman, which the Quran tells us is not true. They wanted this the place where the magical books, which today is Kabbalah, they wanted those books as part of their inheritance. And this magic that they got led them to uh, establish the practices of interest in riba. And they are the ones who established the first banking system. And they became filthy rich. And that knowledge of becoming rich using usury was used by the rich in magic, like Pharaoh and the magicians, uh, over and over again throughout history in different shapes and different forms, whether it's the Freemasons, the Illuminati, and so on and so forth. So, Bismillah, I want to end by saying please do uh, support me. Uh, and there's a link in the comment section you can find to support me, whatever you can do, any small amount. Uh, if you, whatever is according to your ability, right? According to your ability, inshallah. I'm working on some really awesome projects and I just need help. I need to be able to hire a little bit of help to get certain things done. Certain things I want to get published, certain things I want to get done, uh, certain projects I'm working on. So if, if Allah puts it in your heart and you feel it, then inshallah ta'ala support me definitely. And, um, subscribe like share express your views and uh, share this video with other people inshallah jazakumullah khairan assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and most of all do dua for me uh, okay inshallah assalamu alaikum